Boy, let me tell you, um, I fell asleep again last night, late, something went in my eye real quick, I don't know what in the world it was, but something's in my eye, I'm trying to get it out, um, last night the NFL reached its halfway point into the season, um, hopefully we're not as late as we were, you know, as it has been, um, you know, like the Eagles, they stay undefeated. Like that was pretty obvious. Sure, they gave up 17 points to the Texans, but I mean, it's the Texans. Still can't expect much from them. Eagles stay unbeaten. Like I think they're gonna go into their bye week undefeated. No, honesty, they're gonna go undefeated into their bye week at least. You have the Patriots beat up on the Colts. Like it was nobody's business. Um, the Lions, they beat the Packers, which is really funny. Like. Really funny, like the Lions picked off Rodgers three times? Three times. That's saying a lot. This is like, how, how, how do you get picked off by the worst defense in the NFL three times? It's insanity. There's also the Chargers at the Falcons. So that was actually a good game. I missed out on watching this game. Um, I missed out most of the early slate for some reason. Um... I decided to go out and get some cheesesteaks uh, early on Sunday. I should have went during the late games, but I ended up going during this set. I mean, the Cowboys, they weren't playing this week, so what do I got to do? What, what do I got to do? Like, like the Giants, they played this week either. The Eagles played on Thursday night. Who wants to watch Thursday night football? Not me, man. But uh, I got back, and by the time I got back, the Jets beat the Bills behind that defense. You know, somehow, because I'm sitting here like, how did the Bills lose this game? Like, why did the Bills lose this game? They were up early. What happened? The Chargers beat the Falcons, too. And, which, that again, that game was crazy in some facets, you know. The Vikings also continued to come from behind. Like, the Commanders gave a good fight. But the Vikings, you know, Justin Jefferson finally was able to do something again. I swear he hasn't done anything in weeks. But he was finally able to do something again. Did the Bagels, Joe Shiesty, not not Joe Burrow, I'm talking about Joe Mixon, uh, just cutting up the Panthers like it was nobody's business, just beating them up like it was nobody's business. It's also the Jags, they beat the Raiders. Big surprise there, like the Raiders completely, I don't know what's wrong with this team, man. I really don't. And then Justin Fields decided to go off on the Dolphins, but the Dolphins still won, which is a testament to how that game went. So, like, I'm sitting here like, how in the world did this happen? Like, Justin Fields had, like, 400 yards by himself. But yet, at the end of the day, the Bears still lost? Wild. And in K-9, Geno Smith, and those Seahawks, they beat the Cardinals like it was nothing. Or rather, it, it was a good game. I'll, I'll say that much. It was a good game. But, I mean, the Cardinals just made way too many mistakes in this game. Like, they let... Get up, Walker, Gino Smith, do whatever they want on them, you know. Like, there were times in this game where the Seahawks struggled a little bit, you know. Struggled to get some things going, and the Cardinals could not take advantage of that. And when the Seahawks finally got to take, you know, some kind of advantage in this game, they did it. They did it relatively easy. It was easy peasy, a little bit squeezy from there. K-9 finished the job off a couple of touchdowns for him, and that was a, that was a wrap on the Cardinals. And in, in the, in one of the, you know, people are starting to hate using the word mid, but it, but this is really the middest game of the week you could ever have in the Buccaneers and the Rams, in which the Rams control most of that game against the Buccaneers, yet Tom Brady was able to lead a comeback drive in less than 60 seconds, and the Buccaneers won. And I mean, this game was atrocious. Like, you have... Aaron Donald and Vita Bea just feasting on Matthew Stafford and Tom Brady the entire game. It, it was a mess. Disgusting game. I never want to see these two teams by themselves, by the way. You know, the, Car the Cardinals Seahawks game was regional. I never want to see these two teams by themselves in a national window again, please. Like, don't even do this to me again, CBS. I'm begging you. I am begging you, please. And, you know, we just got a flex game today. We finally got a flex. But, they, but they're but they subjecting people to the Bengals and the Steelers in the late window, too. 
not 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 the, not the 730 window it was originally scheduled for them top at the 425 window uh, I mean the 325 window I forgot central time superior time uh, like they put they came alongside the Dallas Minnesota game but that's that's a couple weeks away we're not going to talk about that right now Titans Chiefs was weird because Malik Willis did absolutely nothing in this game it was all Derrick Henry for like two or three runs basically and then the rest of the game was just like why Titans why Titans why like the Chiefs were out here melting down on the field you got Travis Kelsey out here throwing his helmet around you know getting all handsy and stuff like that like man the Chiefs were losing it because they weren't getting their way in this game you had Mahomes throwing it like 68 times it was wild and yet at the end of the day they teased us the script writers teased us because the Titans really thought they were going to win this game against the Chiefs, and they didn't do it. They didn't do it. I'm disappointed. Really disappointed. Like, the Titans still lead the AFC South. That That's good, right? That's good. I guess. But I mean, who wants to win that division anyway? I certainly don't. And then the Ravens, you know, you know, injuries. Saints also injured, but the but the Ravens were able to get that W. You know, on Monday night behind Drake, behind Lamar Jackson, not you know running and throwing as usual. And the defense playing pretty good, playing pretty good again. You know, injuries on that defense on both sides of the football, but ultimately. The Ravens, they did enough to take care of business in this game again. It was a crazy, it was a crazy game, I'll tell you that much. It was a crazy game, you know, because of all these injuries happening and stuff like that. And the impact of, you know, the trade deadline and stuff like that on these teams so far. It's really been something. And again, I really don't know how. We're halfway through the NFL season already. It's wild, man. How are we halfway through the regular season? And what's going to come in the second half? Because a lot of teams, like, there's just a lot of, mm, you know, top half of the league. Like, there, there's clear tiers, but the rest of the league, like the other 16, 15, 16 teams in the league, ugh, some of these teams is just rough to watch. Well, let me tell you, some of these teams are just rough to look at. So we're going to find out what's going to happen you know, in the second half of the season. I cannot wait. cannot wait to talk to you again on Thursday. And hopefully, but hopefully I'll get the next recap out on Monday night like it's supposed to be. Because, yeah, again, something is something else. So see y'all tomorrow night uh, we gotta talk college football and we gotta talk about those rankings that just came out I'll be talking with somebody else too about those rankings but oh my goodness we got a long week ahead it's still only Tuesday <laughs>